So after an extensive wait, we finally have Adobe Premiere Rush on Android devices, but is it worth the money and is it any good? Let's find out. So let's start with the negatives. Premiere Rush is of course a paid for video editor for your mobile device, but there is a free trial to get you started. For anyone already subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud, it is free. Adobe Rush does work as a streamlined version of the fully featured Adobe Premiere Pro, but it offers a massive step up from Premiere Elements. It does come without the steep learning curve and it's fully optimized for a mobile to desktop workflow. The main timeline view is much more concise and you could say stripped back, but that is great if you're new to editing, plus it's just more intuitive on a touchscreen. Using with a Samsung device does bring its own slightly better performance as Adobe are working with the Korean company to enhance performance on Samsung handsets. I also found that using the S Pen on the Note 9 helped find control that a little bit better than I found with a finger. That said, adding footage to your time on whatever your device is quick and simple, while trimming and chopping clips is just as easy to do. Admittedly, you will rely on the bottom slider menu as hotkeys are not possible, but you can dart around with ease once you get used to the menu system. Adobe has also included a ton of stock transitions, customizable titles and lower thirds to help you get more professional results and they work pretty well without any obvious slowdown on your phone. Footage of course is one thing, but audio is another entirely. Of course there is no dynamic link with Adobe Audition, but there are some powerful controls included like noise reduction, echo dampening, and you can even dock your music to A-roll tracks. One thing I find really neat is that you can record video and even a voiceover directly into your project, further speeding up your edits. So let's quickly touch on compatible video formats as you can edit 4K footage, you just can't render out at 4K just yet. I do like that you can create timelines in square, portrait or landscape, but only being able to render out at a max 1080p 30fps is a little bit disappointing. Render times do seem about what I expected going in, but I will say that the back of my Note 9 did get a little bit warm when rendering videos out. I noted that a 2 minute timeline took around about a minute or so to render out and then it was ready to be shared directly to any social media of my choosing. Now my initial verdict is that Adobe Rush is arguably the best video editing platform on Android devices, but is it worth the $10 subscription fee? I'd have to say that only if you want or already take your video content seriously. People like myself who are already subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud should probably give it a go as you've got a pretty solid mobile editing suite at no extra cost right at your fingertips. For someone starting out, maybe give the free trial a thorough test drive before jumping in. Although I will say that the desktop app does mean that you can use Adobe Rush across multiple devices should you wish. Hey, if you've given Adobe Rush a go on your Android smartphone, let me know in the comments section below how it runs. I'll also leave links to compatible handsets in the video description too. As always, before you head off, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But until next time, this is Damien for 95 Google, and I will speak to you later.